What's up everyone? It is your girl GL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna start a new series. So the name of the new series, I believe, let me double check. I'm on the wrong notes on my phone. I have so many notes on my phone till I just have to like go and investigate. Old school versus new school. Which one do I prefer? So it's basically another way for me to like get you all to dig back in your collection and use eyeshadow palettes from the past that you might have that you're not really focused on or looking at because you're too busy looking at the new ladies thing like everyone else is include myself i'm not for i'll be looking at new stuff too like like the picture that everybody posts when it's like a new girl walking that street but you already with another girl and you know but that girl looks cooler than another girl you already with or you know it's like a new product that looks cooler than what you already have even though it's similar so I'm taking this opportunity for this new series to show y'all some more eyeshadow palettes from my collection that are older that you might have in your collection for you to pull out and use again. Y'all know how I am. Pull that out and remember, girl. Pull it out and remember. So that way, you ain't got to be paying these high prices. This new stuff that comes out. So I'm going to start off this series with one that I figured everybody forgot about. I mean, the pressing on the shadows wasn't that great. She had to refund everybody and send everybody new palettes. But I, you know, appreciate the brand for doing that. This is the brand I've been following since the very beginning. I still buy palettes from them to this day. Although people haven't really been feeling the brand's palettes as much. So I feel like you should know who I'm talking about. It's a um, YouTuber brand. She's a really sweet, kind, wonderful lady. And I love her brand so, so much. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette versus the Nomad, what is Providence Palette? So when I looked in the corner, because I was going to do like a favorite palette combinations video, and I had pulled this out to go with her Coral Blossom palette that is a good alternative for the Pat McGrath um, Utopian Dream palette. And then I looked at both of these shades of this palette and this palette, I was like, hmm, we look awfully close, don't we? I mean, I feel like if you cover up the green, you pretty much have just about the same palette. I mean, this one has more orange and kind of mauveish tones in it, but it has those yellows, it has the pinks, and it has a couple, it has that pop of purple, which is basically what this palette is. So, like an idiot, all this time when I could have showed y'all this when I showed this video, I did not. But that's okay, it inspired a whole new series for us to do, so look at God, y'all. <laughs> anyway, so let me take my hand over so you can actually see. But I really love the color store of this palette. Unfortunately, um, the shimmers were pressed kind of hard, but you know, like since you get sent everybody new palettes, I I feel like it shouldn't have really been that excuse me big of an issue so i figured we could deep dive into both of these it's basically kind of like another eyeshadow versus but i only have to do one palette instead of finding whole groups and sets for brands to do because that one is much harder for me to do i figured this be an easier miniature version of eyeshadow versus for you so without further ado let's get into it so um if i remember correctly this palette retailed for 49 dollars I'm pretty sure it retailed for $49. Child's been so long ago since this palette came out. I don't remember because this is Kirsten's like second palette after the latte palette. This was when she was all about the drinks and now she's gone on to different avenues and calling things different things based upon different things. So I'm happy she got out of that. You know, like uh, it was cute when it first started, but all brands need to grow and evolve. So shout out to her for like coming out with different stuff. But um, yeah, I really love the color store of this. This is probably like one of my favorite color stores from when she first came out. I liked this. I like the berries and I like Celestial Storm. If anyone's curious, those are my favorites from her brand. But we're going to test this out alongside the Nomad Providence palette. So this is what she looks like on the inside. I adore this color story because I thought it was really unique but I felt like it reminded me of something and I finally found out what the thing was I know I'm super late to the party then came up with like three other palettes since I did this but the point is I remembered I can't remember every single palette of my collection y'all y'all saw my collection video the fact that I have five collection videos just for eyeshadow palettes alone tells you everything you need to know so the fact that I pulled so many that I do please give me my props for that okay because I sure am pat on the back since you did good no but um uh the formula on this is really nice the quality of this is really nice i find the quality of their palettes for the majority of the time i like i've just heard bad things about like the ones with the really shimmery shadows in them because i hear they press too hard in the pan i've never bought any i didn't buy the studio 54 i didn't buy the um the last two christmas palettes because i heard the shadows are pressed really hard so although i really liked the color story i was like i don't want to you know risk it out here because i already have plenty of stuff i like from nomad so i just stick to that stuff and stay away from that till like i hear someone say they perfected it a little bit better but if you're gonna buy this palette everybody say it with me now we use code what i didn't hear you. yes that's right we use code dion in this household so you will use code dion when you buy this palette i'm just kidding you don't have to but i recommend you use code dion that's the code i'm gonna push for nomad from now on so you can use code dion and get this cute little palette right here 
But let me zoom you on in real quick and cute like now. If you're curious what's on my eyes now, this is actually from another series I started. Yes, I keep starting all these lovely series around eyeshadow palettes to save you some coins, sis. You're welcome. You should subscribe just because I be doing all that. Because, I mean, this channel is full of ways to save you coins on eyeshadow. If I see one that looks similar to something else, we're going to battle it. You're going to see it in an underrated versus overrated. You're going to see it in a My Side Chick makeup. Or you're going to see it in this video, which is old school versus new school. So, without further ado... I'm going to go off camera. Of course, we're going to use the oldest palette off camera. So what I do in these videos, if you're new, hello, hi, how are you? Um, but I take the oldest palette. I'll come up with the colors that are similar in that palette to the new palette. Then I'll swatch them on my hand. So the oldest palette will be first. The newest palette will be second. So it'll be like Dominique, the Nomad. Dominique, the Nomad, and so on and so forth, depending on how many colors I use. But let me go off camera and get my life in order, girl, and then I will come right back. But the palette that's on my eyes is this Juvia's Place Lori palette, and it's actually going to be in this video, but I don't have the two separate eyelids on right now. But I'll be right back, girl, so we can battle it out, and I can tell you if I prefer the old school palette, which is Dominique's, or the new school palette, which is Nomad. Be right back. Okay, so pay my under eye no mind. I have on the aura struck. I had on the aura struck palette when I went to work today because I had to take the picture for the thumbnail. You'll see that video I think on Christmas Eve. Don't quote me, but I feel like that's when it's coming up. I love how I'm saying that in this, but this series doesn't go up to 2023. So the point of that, there was no point other than telling you that's what's underneath my eyes, and it doesn't have anything to do with me. I don't on my actual eye. I just was lazy, wasn't taking off my under eye makeup flat. So <laughs> these are the shades that we used. I used this, these two yellow shades right here and then I use this shade right here and then I use this shade right here so I use those four shades out of this palette so let me show you the ones we're using out of the Providence palette so we're going to take these two shades out of Providence then these two shades out of Providence and I think that's pretty much it yeah I don't have a lot to take out of this palette I didn't have a lot to take out of the other one so without further ado let's get into it because it is like 4 30 something in the morning and i would like to go to bed especially since i have to go still run more errands tomorrow and it's supposed to be a snow blizzard here in chicago so i'm trying to get up early enough to you know drop off what i need to drop off because i get i told y'all my mom bakes every holiday and every holiday i have to be like you know the driver and drop off all these cakes like you know i'm a delivery driver and it's supposed to be a blizzard starting at 6 a.m. today so I'm like I'm trying to get as many eyelids done as I can of course the strawberry shortcake now wants to show up um I've been waiting on it since the 6th of December of course it's supposed to show up Friday now that this supposed to be a blizzard in Chicago so I don't know when y'all gonna get to see that video because I'm like I'm not driving out here for that and you know the lighting in my um house isn't that great and then I don't have a good way to set up my camera and all that I actually don't have my camera I only have my um phone that I'd be able to set it up on because um, I gave my camera away to one of my cousins for her um, clothing website so she could sell her uh, so she could post her um, clothing pictures anyway we're gonna start with the purple shade so I don't know how I'm about to get this video done I mean I have been waiting forever for this palette of course we want to show up once there's a blizzard and everything else because I want to show it along strawberry short I want to show it alongside you know the milkshake palette so I'm trying to decide if I'm still going um if I'm going to take the strawberry shortcake home, I'm just trying to film it in my kitchen or something. Because in our living room, the Christmas tree is there now. So it's going to be really hard to like try to set up everything in my um, ring light that I have at home and all that in order to like try to film it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have to film it in my kitchen. If I do end up filming it like this year, I might just have to wait till snow ends and then y'all just get it as like a super late video since they sent it super late. Because I'm telling y'all, it sat there from the 6th to literally the 20th before it even got mailed off so i'm just like i've already shot the um best holiday so i done shot all my ranking on my holiday palette of 2022 and everything because i was like it seemed like this ain't coming in 2022 even though it's supposed to be the holiday palette of 2022 so i was like I'm loving the way this color blends out. I feel like this is like a deeper grayish purple than this one is. To me, this looks like a more mauve-ish purple, and this looks like more grayish purple. But I like both purples. Like, I would use these palettes as a palette matchup situation because I feel like the green shimmer in the lemonade when I showed you would go nicely with the purples and grays in here. And then I would put, like, this 
yellow shade all over the lid with the shimmers in it and then put the green shade in the inner corner from the um of the palette and then maybe like run this on the lower last line to have an interesting kind of unique color story we're gonna have on the eyes right now from me having on the aura struck palette on now we're gonna take this yellow shade let's dust it all over here I feel like the yellow shades are pretty similar, which is oddly enough, I feel like the one in Kirsten's palette looks lighter in the pan than it does, like, when you put it on the eyes, I feel like it deepens up when you put it on the eyes, it might just be me, but I feel like it just looks lighter in the pan than this one does. So I'm just going to bring it all the way down here, kind of in the front of the crease, kind of, um, yeah, I'm sorry, kind of in front of the inner corner right here is what I meant to say, so I'm going to dust her all the way down there. I think it looks pretty nice. So far we're doing so good. I mean, so far so good. Take this clean brush and just dust underneath there to get the excess. I should have probably not left down here by accident. Oopsies. So now we're gonna take our glitter glue as usual and cut crease. Put a purple shade all over the lid. Just quitting that on a little bit. So I'll with that. Okay. Looks good to me. Now let's get into the deep purple shade. Now I feel like this one is definitely going to be deeper than the one on this eye. I feel like, oh wait, this one has sparkle in it and I feel like Kirsten's doesn't. It seems to be that more metallic foily finish that I like. So I feel like these look pretty nice and pretty similar together. I gotta get y'all some more dupe reels because I haven't done a reel, a shorts, or a TikTok like in forever. That's another reason I'm excited about the snow as sad as that is because it's like I have time to shoot those because it's like I always rush over here to do um, YouTube videos instead. Oh yes, look how nice that looks. Okay, let's put this inner corner color in real quick then I'll go get the battery and I can do my eyeliner off camera and you know, whatever. So let's put this shimmery in the corner here. As you can see, it has more of a green shift to it, so it's not going to be yellow like the other one, unfortunately, but you know. They work. So here's what the finish looks, looks like. As you can see, this is more bright and this is more metallic. This is more glittery and sparkly and iridescent. So that's the difference. I'm going to go off camera and, you know, put on eyeliner and mascara, and then we're going to talk about my thoughts and which palette I think performed better and which one I think won. Okay, be right back. Okay, y'all, so my thoughts on both of these palettes. Where did I put them? I don't. I just had them, I swear. Oh, I put them in the box over there. Because I got to do the, um, the TikTok form and the comparison videos and shorts and IG reels and all that stuff. Anyway, so, y'all remember this is Kirsten's Eyes Lemonade Palette and this is the Nomad eye. So I like each eye for different reasons. I like the metallicness of the shimmers in Kirsten's palette and the soft subtleness of the purple. But I also like the deepness of this purple because I feel like it looks really um, more nice. It looks nicer and def more defined as far as the purple goes on this side. So it all depends on what your preference is. Like I like the shiny inner corner here, but I like this shade more for if I was going to put it on lid. So I would use this as a topper on top of this one. It gives me an extra oomph and pop and glittery effect. So I like each palette for different reasons. Um, if I had to choose though, I feel like the formula on the Nomad one is obviously better. But again, you all have to remember, I told you in the beginning of this video that I ended up with one of Kirsten's bad palettes that came out of this collection. And since I bought mine from Sephora, I guess they didn't... Um, take the ones back from Sephora and send out um, new ones to Sephora or maybe Sephora didn't send all the ones back that they had originally because mine are pressed hard in the pan at least the mattes are and then the shimmers are um, fine or at least the shimmer I used in today's video was fine so for that reason I think the Nomad one is better just because my um, mattes were pressed a little too hard and I feel like I had to work a little bit harder than I normally have to 
with the palette in order to get that one to work. So I was a little bit disappointed by that. But, you know, it's still a great palette and I still plan on using it. I just, like I said, like different ones for different reasons. So I definitely say the Nomad form is better. So the new school has beaten the old school in this episode. You can comment down below and tell me which eye you like better. Remember, this is the eye from Kirsten's brand, the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. And this is the Providence palette from Nomad where we use code Cage. Sorry, where we use code Dion. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are dimes and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.